Okay, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so delighted to be here today. Uh, my name is Mbe Derek. I am one of the many voices of TBC. And today is Monday, the 24th of uh, June, 2019. Um, I want to welcome you all on board. Today, uh, we're going to discuss... I'm sure everybody has watched the same button meetings, um, all of you uh, in my groups, and uh, you, you have been seeing what is happening so far. The community is fired up. Not only me, I'm fired up, but the entire community, they are really, really fired up. And um, there is something I wanted to share with you, and I was just thinking, we actually shared it here, and admin use. Uh, uh, that training to um, post something about the hundred monkey effects. For those of you who were here, that was our number 37 training or something like that. And I told you, I educated you of, about the hundred monkey effects. I'm sure many of you who can remember the hundred monkey effects that I talk about. Can somebody remember? Yes, Madam Adil. <laughs> Can you tell us something about the hundred monkey effects? Uh, I'll try. The hundred monkey effect is right. um, one whereby um, a monkey discovered the that it was um, much better to wash the uh, the wash the food that they were eating, right? And um, he taught his mother, taught his friends. They also went back to teach their own parents, and then um, before a short in a very short time, all of them discovered that it was much better to wash their food. And so a large number um, were washing their food before they ate. Before this, before a, a, in a very short time, about a hundred of them yeah. had done that. And so yes. the things kept on spreading. And so right. they, they got better results. True, yeah. true. Uh, um, thank you very much for that. Uh, 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 should I put it a recap? <laughs> uh, because if, if you, I'll share my screen with you real quick here. Uh, if you, um, those of you who have been following my training for from the beginning to now, I talk about these hundred monkey effects, and I was talking about um, uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, training TBC to the moon, training day thirty seven, you are going to find the hundred monkey effects. I explain in details what the 100 monkey effect is, and that is what is going to happen in CBC. And this is it happening right now, as it is right now. When, I, when, when we're doing this training, um, the 37, I was actually not having signups in CBC. I wasn't. But today, uh, we are actually having signups so far. And admin had to, I, I was just like thinking about what happened. Uh, uh, thinking about this, and I said, but let me, there was a blog post on this. Maybe we should share the post again, and from there, we're going to discuss one or two things. Because if you look critically what the admin wrote here, he said, you have all heard that knowledge is power. I'm here to tell you that belief is more powerful than knowledge, right? <laughs> uh, I like this beginning. You have all heard that knowledge is power. But I mean, it's here to tell you that belief is more powerful than knowledge. Now, the power of belief is transferable to others as described in the video above, discussing the 100 monkey effect. You want to watch, I want, I want everybody to watch this 100 monkey effect again. You really, you really have to enjoy it, trust me. I mean, went further to say that when I wake up this morning, I thought I was dying. My head was pounding with pain. My neck felt kicked. My legs cramped. Yesterday, I started taking a calcium supplement because I was showing signs of having a lack of calcium in my body. 
The pain I felt this morning made me immediately think about things I could do to relieve my pain and suffering. So I took some more calcium, both knowledge and my belief in that, uh, in that knowledge about calcium drove me to take the supplements and was a reminder that I should always take it. A hot shower running down on my head and neck brought some relief too. I don't feel like I'm dying right now, but later I will go get a, a, a massage to add to my belief. My point here is that um, I want people to mute themselves and get some noise, background noise, okay. All right, let me go ahead. My point here is that it is within me to make some changes to get better. If I was a loser, I would just complain that I'm getting old and need to learn to accept the pain and suffering of age. I refuse to believe that. Instead, I believe I, I have a long life ahead of me that will be full of good health and prosperity. Losers lose. That is the nature of losers. Losers die young. Every loser dies. It is very common and it comes down to belief. Knowledge is all about identifying what is knowledge could have said to me that I'm old and getting to die. Think about that. It is easy to identify pain. The moment I opened my eyes, the pain was the first thing that came to my mind and, and awareness. I quickly examined my beliefs regard, uh, regarding my situation and found I was conflicted. Some of my beliefs suggest that I am getting old, why others' beliefs suggest age is only a meaningless number. I search for the beliefs that would bring the, first, uh, the fastest relief and found that it is better to believe I am young, still, and strong enough to quickly overcome my current condition. I am taking charge of my reality and refuse to have long-term pain in it. Now I feel well enough to write this article. Soon I will back to full strength and, and pain-free. I believe I am a winner. Losers accept the life they are given. Why winners change life into what they want. All right. Um, let, 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 before I continue, let, let me quickly come to this. I, I, you know, there are some things I like about this. Listen to this last statement. I believe I am a winner. Losers accept the, the life they, they, they were given. Why winners change life into what they want. And that goes to the point of today which is all about us being believing that we can actually uh, achieve what we, we, we really want, right? Because trust me, um, ever since we have been doing this uh, uh, training so far, ever since I have been... Ever since started, I have been sorry, uh, uh, we are having some... Please mute yourself when you come in. Thank you. So uh, uh, believe me, Ever since we have been doing, ever since I've been working, I have been uh, having like a condition in my mind to succeed no matter what. Condition, condition my mind to make it in the Bitcoin bounty program. I, I, I have put in all the necessary energy I needed to make it happen. And I'm glad today I did it. And I did it so high. And it is not enough. I'm looking forward for the, for the, for the, uh, 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 heavy heater bonuses. Okay, think about it, guys. Think about it. One hundred and eighty-one signups, but you multiply that by eleven, eleven USD, you are going to have about one thousand nine hundred and ninety something dollars. That's huge. That's huge for an African uh, uh, society. So now, the, my, my my point is this: uh, I don't want you. Uh, to look at, please, if you guys are not muting yourself, I'm going to kick you out. Madam Teresa, you might want to mute yourself. I will not want to repeat myself again. Yes, I will remove you out of my training. I don't know why, if I mute you, you keep on muting yourself. So it's better to keep yourself muted. Okay. So the reason why I'm telling all of you this is that we sometimes we need to put in everything that we need we need to put in everything that we need to make it happen yes because i refuse that 
I am, I am not able to make it. I refuse all that. I refuse, I walk, I try to walk my mind to believe that I can actually be the winner too. And trust me, when A's Flesher, when A's, <coughs> when A's Flesher started winning this, I was like, what? This guy, I, I, I can do it too. I was like, I can do it too. And I, I, I keep walking, I keep, putting, I keep putting everything in place. And that did not stop me from doing my live broadcast with you. That did not stop me from doing my trainings in the office. That did not stop me from uh, um, doing everything, going down the street and meeting people onto the level where uh, I have brochures. I'm going to come to the brochures very soon and give you some techniques that you might want to use also. But before then, let us continue to the blog post. Okay, let us, let us, let us quickly continue to the blog post. Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, most people have no idea how powerful belief is. Uh, they robotically accept the knowledge program into their heads by the evil allies that uh, uh, are released in spreading diseases. In spreading disease and poverty to justify their personal uh, uh, mightiness by comparison. I think I need to uh, uh, get some people need to get some people out or muted or something like that okay so all right um, i'm still getting some noise i'm trying to find out who is bringing me this noise i think it's madam teresa madam teresa is unmuted yeah, I think, uh, I'm sorry, I'll have to keep her out. I, I don't like repeating myself. Okay. Madam Teresa, if you don't meet yourself again, that's the last warning, please. I'll be able to keep you out of this training. Thank you. So, um, oh my God, so I don't like when I'm distracted. Okay, <clears throat> most people have no idea how powerful belief is. They robotically accept the knowledge program into their heads by the evil ally that, that released in spreading disease and poverty to justify their personal mightiness by comparison. Do you really want to accept the knowledge they are spreading? They have used the media and educational system to program what is an acceptable lifespan and qualify and quality of life? We are in a battle of wills. The world is full of healers and good people that want you to be, to be whole and happy. Why the evil allies use their financial power to make disease and poverty commonplace? What about your will? Who will you believe in for your life? The real question here is, what do you want? The first thing this brings to mind is, to, is, do you believe you have the power to get what you want? If you don't believe you can get anything that you want, then that is your starting point. You need to change the belief because it is a big fat lie. Don't you have the power to decide? Isn't it true that you do make choices? The power to choose gives you the power to change bad beliefs. So guys, the power to be the choose, the power to choose gives you the power to make, uh, 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 gives the power to choose gives you the power to change bad beliefs. And if, if you look at this image, you have to cut the T in I can't, okay? I can't do it. Yeah, many of you are saying that you can't do it. You can't get people sign ups. You can't win the Bitcoin bounty. Remove cut the T right now. I am challenging you all of my cash flowing students to cut that T right now and believe that they can do it. Because trust me, knowledge, they say, is uh, uh, power, but belief is more powerful. And that is what just worked for me. One day, I wake up and believe with all my heart that I would become a millionaire. Then I became one. First came the belief. 
Then follow the condition. Now I firmly believe I can turn all of you into a millionaire too. Now it is your turn to believe you will become a millionaire and live a five-star laptop lifestyle. When the belief arrives, the action to make it so will follow. CBC is a toolbox that you can use to change your beliefs about who and what you are into people uh, uh, that can't and will live abundantly on earth. Are you using the tools? Take charge of your lives. Turn them into soft clay clay that can easily be molded by thought. Drop the self-limiting beliefs and embrace beliefs that empower you to get anything you want in life. Okay, guys, um, I want to interpret, I want to uh, uh, quickly interpret uh, uh, yeah, the message at the end there. Admin says that one day he woke up and believed that he is going to become a millionaire, and that happened. Now, let me tell you something. One day, I also wake up and believe that I'm going to win the Bitcoin contest, and I, and I did. And if I can do it, then you, all of you guys can do it, because I, it also <laughs> opened me. Trust me, the first one or two months, I didn't. I had to work on my belief first. I had the power, the knowledge, and everything. But then, what happened? I need to start working on the belief. So I wake up one morning, and I decided that CBC is going to make me uh, 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 have money, and I'm going to win this Bitcoin bounty program. And I actually did it. So it's, it's, it's actually a breaking record. There might be some more records to come. But this is the breaking record so far. I did not only win, but I won with records. You know, I won with a record. So you have to start getting now, telling yourself that you are, you are going to win and make it happen. Just like if you look at the same button meetings, the admin actually, if you look at the same button meeting, the admin actually asked me to uh, respond to some questions there. Uh, a, a very tough, uh, I cannot say tough questions, but just some of the question well, I'm looking forward to get some people out of this but I can't figure who is really disturbing my show um, Madam let me help you Madam DFA MP Christine is unmuted yes Christine Christine uh, herself yeah okay so uh, God. so um I wanted to go to, uh, oh my God, I was a little bit distracted. So please, where was I going to? Oh my God, so many things running in my mind. So uh, I, was, I was a little bit distracted. I wanted to check something. I wanted to show you something. I've, you just you are trying to get the questions that Adney asked. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I, I was actually trying to show you the questions that Admin asked us today during the send button meeting. Admin asked me this question for me to answer to the community uh, uh, about this. Because if you look at my, my breakthrough chart, okay, if you look at the breakthrough chart, you see that how yeah, I ask you to ask a question. Please, um, you have time to ask questions. No, this is not a time to ask questions, please. After, um, what, when, once I finish, you have enough time to ask questions. So you just hold on with your questions. We'll come to you. We'll come to you as we move forward. So um, if you look at this chart, I was trying to demonstrate this during the send button meetings. And you see that first week, second, third, fourth, fifth, I had zero signups. And then that was when my belief increased. And I knew I could do it. Most of the times, when you have one, two, three, four weeks, what usually happens here is that people give up. That what usually happens at this level. Sometimes people will give up. They were like, I can't do it. But I was, like the other day I was showing you my growth, my growth curve. And I, was, I never knew admin also was taking notes. So um, you see how it worked. It, it kept from one, three, five, one, two, and so on. And boom, the breakthrough now came in. And that is what happens in anything that you are doing. And that's why I keep telling people, keep being consistent. And that's how the breakthrough comes. The breakthrough only comes when you are consistent. If you are not consistent in the breakthrough, it won't come. And so Admin says that in the beginning of this chat period, uh, starting back in March of this year, why did you allow yourself to recruit zero new members week after week? <laughs> so this question is so funny. 
and I might revert this question to you guys. Why are you guys allowing yourself to recruit zero new members week after week? Can you guys give me the answers? Because I think, <laughs> so I, I, I'm sure uh, for me, I was actually working on my belief and putting in all the necessary energy that I, 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 I needed. I mean, says that what was your uh, uh, justification for the lack of personal recruits? Oof, I needed, I needed to believe and work really hard. So then, what motivated you to start recruiting in April of this year? Of course, when Ice Flesher, when Ice Flesher said, when Ice Flesher was killing it, I told myself I can do it too. I told myself if Ice Flesher is doing it, then that's one of my motivation, and definitely I will do it. Why are the numbers of personal recruits so small each week in the month of April and May of this year? Bay, can you tell us in, in great details all about this amazing breakthrough you had this week and how others can duplicate it? Yes, and that is the final question for us today, is that how can we duplicate this success? Because we need, I need to breathe in this success in you. And if I'm unable to breathe this success in you, then there's a problem. There is a problem. And the problem might be you, it might be me, it, I don't know. But most of the times, the problem is not usually your trainer, your, your, your trainer. The problem is usually the belief of the trainees. They just believe they can't do it. And sometimes many of them give up. Many of them give up at one point in time when the breakthrough is about to happen, you give up. You have to breathe in the success, keep accepting the success, keep believing that it is going to happen anytime soon. Now, the first secret um, that I'm going to tell you about this duplication is that, um, one, there is something we call bird dogs. By the time I learned this from admin and ace Flesher, bird dogs are people that are not generally into TBC, but they, have, they know a whole bunch of people. They have a whole bunch of people. You can pay them. You can pay them to allow you to sign up his community. I can take, for example, a church. I can take, for example, a school, delegates of a particular department. I can take, for example, a sport complex, uh, a, a president of a club, and I pay him to sign up every people in his community. Sorry, guys, I'm having an electricity problem here. I don't know what's happening. So I might just go dark. I don't know what's happening here. Um, so that's the first secret you need to know. You need to put the bird dog practice. You need to practice the bird dog. And you train those people. They are signing up. You train them what is necessary. You need to train them and duplicate yourself. Because trust me, I didn't do all this by myself. I had to bring, I have a bunch of people that I'm, I'm, I'm training in the office. And you guys have been seeing it from my videos. I don't hide anything I'm doing. I don't. I'm not that kind of leader. I preach what I'm not doing. If I'm telling you something, I'm doing it. And if it's not working, we'll get a solution for it. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep getting the solution until when we succeed. I keep telling you, um, 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 uh, this guy who invented the light bulb, uh, Thomas Edison, he tried hundreds of times. It was not working out. And when they asked him, do you feel like a failure? He said that I just discover 100 or 999 ways which a light bulb will not work. Of course, we might have had 199 ways which TBC is not working. But definitely, we just discover why it will not work. That is, we have learned something. Then now we need to apply what is going to work. And one of those things is duplicating yourself, getting the bird dogs. And those bird dogs will help you sign up a whole bunch of people. I meet pastors every day, and I make sure I, I'm trying to work to sign up all their people. You can also pay some people to go out there. Okay, you can also pay some people to go out there and bring you a whole bunch of people to do the work for you. Because you can't duplicate fast if you are not also removing some money from your pocket. Remember, I printed a whole bunch of brochures also. They are going out every day. And also, I am paying people to bring people in the office for me to talk to them and sign them up. And lastly, guys, I'm also, I'm also doing what they call the pay forward for people that are very active 
but they do not have the money to join. I pay forward for them. Paying forward for them doesn't mean that they stop there. No, I am grooming them. Training is very important in this, in this aspect. I am grooming them and I am making them to understand that, look, you can make a whole lot of money if you just follow what I'm telling you. You just need to follow what I'm telling you. And, and, and so I want to encourage all of you guys here to put in what I'm doing into practice. Trust me, if you can't put it into practice, then we won't get there real quick. You won't duplicate me. And my, 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 my aim is to duplicate you guys. You, you guys need to educate yourself, duplicate yourself, and make it happen. Remember, it, started, it, it, it did not happen overnight for me. It took about three months. But are you putting all the necessary energy it takes? Are you putting all the necessary energy it takes? Or you just come here and you do training with me and then you wait for next week and waiting for me to come and give you some magic, some magical touch or some magical uh, practices. Guys, Mufo Gidas is here. He's somebody I've been working with and he's seen the energy I'm putting in place. Sometimes he comes to my office, he will need to wait for at least 30 to 45 minutes before he can, we can talk because my office is, there is a lot of traffic coming in on now. But it took me a lot of time for that to happen. So if you come and you just want to wait for the next week, all right, just want to wait for the next week for another training, then you don't apply, you need to apply. After you finish working your belief, the next step is what? Apply. If you work on your belief, you, have, you only have the knowledge then you don't apply, you, it can't happen. So the first thing is you believe, you have the knowledge, and then you apply. You believe, you have the knowledge, and then you apply. You believe, you take the knowledge, and you apply. If you keep believing, you have the knowledge, then you don't apply, nothing will happen. Everything will be stagnant for you. And I don't want everything to be stagnant for you. I want you to apply. And once you apply, trust me, many things will happen for you. Okay, guys. Um, that is that for today. We'll be taking some questions. If you are having doubts on some areas, make sure that you, uh, you ask your question. You can ask your question now before we leave. Thank you. Or if you have some reactions, talk. Okay, who should I take first? Just need to indicate yourself. Uh, who am I taking first? Mr. Okay, okay. yeah, go ahead, sir. How are you, my brother Embre? First okay. and foremost, congratulations for a, a very well deserved Bitcoin bounty. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, done. and um, surprisingly, I, I, I don't know why should it be today that I mean I, I, I could not join the the Saint Bertin meeting. Oh, I my. waited and. Oh my God. Honestly, I waited and waited. In fact, even up to the time I joined this meeting now, I was waiting. It did not come up, you know, on my uh, device. So I, I don't really know whether it's from me or from your end there. The same button meeting? Yes. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but um, many people were alive. I don't know whether somebody yeah. had some problem. This is the first time I'm, I'm experiencing it since St. Botin meeting started. Uh, excuse me. I think what happened was that the link address changed. Yes. There was, a, there was a change in the link address. There, was a, there, was, there were technical um, problems with the first one, so it changed it. So obviously you didn't get the information. Look, I didn't apparently I didn't get the information. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, I will. I will go and. Uh, okay. I, 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 I will. I will come in later and share this. Okay, fine. But the we have the right link in our King Cashback office. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Let me let me take the next person. Yes, um, who do we have there? 
Okay, if we do not have anything to say, let's go, right? <laughs> people, people are just, um, I'm seeing some hands raised up. Let me check who are this. I have Mr. Gidas. Okay, Mr. Gidas, let me start with you. Hello, hello to everybody in the room. In the room and uh, are you getting me? Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. It is with a uh, flying colors that I will say up close and bravo for what you have done. It's a job well done, and you married all the up. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Provers and all the consideration at that very high number for winning the contest of today. So congratulations. Thank so you. that is what I will first say. And uh, you were talking about duplication. I was just watching you, my eyes popping on you to tell you that what things you have said, I Fletcher did it, and you thought you would do it. I also will duplicate you. I will all my ways to duplicate you. So it's really a, an advantage for us to have you to really express it out the way you go about doing it. So we we'll just multiply our effort and try to do as much as possible to follow your footsteps so that we can jointly build this community right forward. So that is what I will try to chip in as, as far as this is concerned. And I will go without saying, guys, you have done it with flying colors. Bravo. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me go with MDS. Um, I don't yet know your name. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you have not my company name. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my, my name is Mayowa Adebi. Hey, so I prefer MGS. I don't want to bite my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you, you understand MDS. So to make it so simple for you. Right. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for today. You know. What you just shared this evening is just like uh, what one of my members posted in, the, in my telegram this morning. Exactly that picture of I can't. I posted it on my uh, telegram group for long, and then today he later goes there and to repost this to my uh, telegram again. And then when I saw it, I said, I'm going to comment on it back. You see, one thing in life, exactly what you just said. Maybe if my people just watch it, they will think maybe me and you have discussed before. <laughs> maybe we have already know what we want to discuss tonight. Exactly, I said, because of the, uh, the tea, that, because that tea is a limitation. Anyone that is putting, I can't, I can't, that person can never move forward. You want to move forward, not only uh, in CBC, it applies to a personal life. Let me tell you something. Where I am today in TBC community, I started this with uh, one of my friends. We are two. When we started this TBC uh, system as if for local government of the state. Right. Then the second person was the first person that even brought this to me. Then after a while, he just looked at it. He said he's not having the, the chance again. You want to go and do uh, something else. Then that is how I continue. I'll be using my money to print a banner, to hang banner around, and using my money to promote it in radio, on radio, and so on like that. Then I never look at it that I can't. All my belief, like what you have just said, you have said the three things that very, very much is important in someone's life. Believe, knowledge, and apply. If yeah. you believe and you have the knowledge and you don't apply it, no result will come up. Okay. So, you must apply what you have had the knowledge. And then before you can apply, you must believe that this thing is real and you can achieve it. And that is when you can achieve something. Where I am in the TBC community today, that is what really helped me. That three things, I believe in it. And then I try to educate myself through the blog. I try to watch some video. Then I now go out there to apply it. And that is what I'm telling people. Anytime that people came to me and said this, this is a serious opportunity for you that to set you free, you and your generation to come after you, to set you free from financial problems. One thing is that you must first of all have the vision, believe in this, that this thing is real. 
Because if you go out there, you don't know what you are doing. That we, in fact, the way that we just like to that, when you go out there, you'll be very surprised. Because when they started throwing some questions to you, you won't know what to say. You just say, eh, eh, you know, eh, you know. All those nightmares, you are not sure of what you are saying. I was, uh, one presenter invited me recently, and then he tried to, uh, uh, to uh, work on, to interview me about this TBC. Then I began to tell him everything, explain everything. Well, then he looked at me and said, wow. He said, this thing, are you the builder of the currency? I said, I'm not. He said, but all the questions he's asking, are you able to give? <laughs> are you getting that? Means that shows that I know what I'm doing. Right. I can't be spending my money for, for, for the, on the radio and spending my money. Then if, uh, if people uh, are calling and I can't give them a good answer for them to turn to a black and just waste my time. Right. So we must have that in, in, at the back of our mind that hey, this thing, we must take it as job. True. Because let me tell you, I don't believe in a uh, 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 guardrail that is saying not having job again. TBC has been a job for them. If right. they can just be, it's not like, I used to tell people, bank, bank have a marketer. Company has marketer. The same thing, like what you just said, that you are sending people out there. The same thing, TBC needs its own broadcaster, both on YouTube and physical, on the streets. We need to be in my place now, I'm telling people that I'm recruiting people into my place to pay them. I will pay them salary and they will go out there to talk to people. I'm going to go there with them. They will learn how to talk to people and then they are going to achieve. You see, let me, let, I need to just stop. Not because I, to this, this. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. very lovely. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I'm, fired up. Um, I'm, I'm so glad everybody is fired up and I believe that. Uh, yeah. Just like the admin believe that he is going to turn all of us into a millionaire, I believe that I'm going to turn all of you into winning the Bitcoin bounty uh, contest. Don't be worried about we, 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 the heavy hitters, who will soon be out of the contest. So we'll allow it for you guys. <laughs> admin said it today in the live in the in the broadcasters meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will soon be out of it. So we'll allow it for you guys to um, to uh, practice and, and come and meet us in the, in the, in the, in the higher level. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think that is that for today. Do we have one last person that wants to say something before we go? If not, to we'll just... Yes. yes, I'm here to say something, sir. Yes, repeat, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Thank you, good evening. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you all the strength to carry on. More fire, more fire, more fire, sir. Right, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I want to get some clarification about your, um, you said you paying the pastor to sign in members. I don't know whether I heard you well. Not necessarily, no, not the pastors. The pastors, I easily have access to them because um, uh, there are people that I pay, but not the pastors. Most of the, the pastors, I can easily get to any pastor that I'm closer to and tell him that, and tell him that I want to sign up people in your church. You know, uh, but I have people that are not pastors, but they know many people around that they can bring to the office for me to sign them up. Okay. So I pay, I pay them uh, to do that for me because life is all about exchange. If, if, if we are not yeah. doing something, nothing will happen. I want to get this. Uh, that's what I want to. I want to get. Okay. Yeah, you, you you can't you can't really propose money to a pastor for that. Because if you do that, uh, the pastors might just look at you as a, a type. So yes. uh, you, I don't really propose money to pastors. But I can give no. a, a something in champagne or wine or something. It just depends on me. But I can okay. Me. Yeah. Now let me take Michael from Ghana. Michael, I'm giving you 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening to all. Thank you, sir. Um, once again, I want to uh, congratulate you for the great uh, job you've done. Thank you. Um, just and all, all I want to say is that we are behind you, and Ghana, Ghana is, is coming up with more fire. Great. So all we are saying that from from next week, we will be seeing Ghana Ghana team coming um, uh, Cameroon and then other 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 country. Power. But now my yeah. teams and. We are, we are ready now. 
Great. So great. we are still putting things together. Great. So great. once again, I want, I want to say a big congratulations. Thank you, my yeah. dear. Thank you Welcome. very, very much. Uh, remember, uh, yeah. it will not happen overnight. It took me some months to work the foundation. So I'm glad you guys have worked out the foundation and uh, you guys are getting there. Of course, we'll all get there. And my wish is to see all my students here making it in the, uh, in the Bitcoin bounty program because I wanted to make as more Bitcoin as possible. And all those people that are coming on board, we'll groom them, we'll groom them, and they'll let us do transaction with you people. So that's going to be very interesting. Trust me, what we are working on is going to be fire. So um, that is that for today, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, Wednesday, for those of you who speak French, I'll be starting a global French training tomorrow at from 7 p.m. So for those that speak French, uh, please make sure that you get to me and uh, you know, I'll add you in a Telegram French group so that you can join me. Um, you can join me in my French training every Tuesdays and Fridays as from 7 p.m. West African time. So that being said, um, let's meet again on Wednesday, same time. Bye now. Bye. Thank you.